I'm Dr. Hayward Matthews, oceanographer at St. Petersburg College and also the Vice President of Reef Monitoring Incorporated, a group we formed then, a group of sci marine scientists, to monitor then the water quality and the fish population, the invertebrate populations on the natural and artificial reefs off Pinellas County. We're out here on the Clearwater Artificial Reef, right off the north end of Clearwater Beach. And what we've done is we've put out a couple of quarter meter steel frames and then using the masonry drill bit and an air drill, we've drilled holes down into the concrete of the artificial reef and actually fastened these quarter meter uh, monitoring areas down onto the bottom. We know that these sea whips, these purple sea whips, soft coral, are only five years old because back in 2005 we had a zero oxygen red tide event that killed all of them. And we've watched these grow back in over the last five years. So what we're going to do then is we've got two areas that we just monitored, one right on the bottom, the other up off the bottom about 10 or 12 feet. And the idea is then we'll go ahead and on every, every a few weeks or every few months, we'll go down then and measure them, see what their growth rate is, particularly to slow down during the winter and speed up in the warmer water of the summer. But also we want to locate exactly where they are and their condition, and we're going to kind of use these purple sea whips then as kind of like our canary in the mine. They're going to tell us there then if the water starts to go bad, if we start getting any pollution of any kind, we'll be able to tell it because these soft corals then are very sensitive and unlike the fish and other invertebrates, they actually can't move away. So if the water goes bad, they're going to die. We're using not only student divers from the college, but also sport divers that we've trained in to collect data uh, on the reefs offshore. We'll be monitoring the physical properties of the water, temperature, salinity, dissolved oxygen, things of this sort, then we'll be monitoring those also so that if we do pick up a change in oxygen levels or salinity or something else, we'll be able to relate that then to the changes in the growth rate or even the survival of the uh, purple sea whip, uh, Gorgonia uh, variegatus.